Ahoy, you scurvy, scurvy dogs. It's your favorite curse captain, Hippo TC, here with a new guide video on how to go about soloing the new emissary system. I get asked a lot of questions about solo slooping and wanted to give you some of the best tips and tricks out there. Before we get started, if you enjoy this content and you find it helpful, please hit that subscribe button. Each sub is greatly appreciated and I promise I will continue to work hard to bring you quality content worthy of it. And as always, a big thank you to all of those who have already subscribed. Now let's jump into today's video. With the introduction of the new emissary system, revive system, and the Reaper Bones trading company, one thing has become clear. Trying to solo sloop in the Sea of Thieves has become a bit more challenging. And by a bit more, I mean a whole metric ton more challenging, especially if you want to grind out the emissary system and rank up. Hopefully, that is where this guide can help. When putting this together, I wanted to give you some practical tips and tricks that you can use to give yourself an advantage when facing other pirates and help you come out on top. So grab a grog, matey, pull up your ship, and let's do this. First and foremost, when you are solo slooping as an emissary representative, you need to stack the odds in your favor. One of the first things you wanna do when loading into a new server is check to see how active that server is. You can do this through checking these nifty little voting tables. There is one for each of the trading companies, including the Reaper's Bones. By checking these tables, you can see just how active that server is. Most experienced players will be rocking the emissary system, so finding a server with three plus ships doing emissary means you're probably on an active server of seasoned pirates. You will also want to be on the lookout for those bloodthirsty reapers by checking the reaper bones emissary table and by paying close attention to your map. If you load in and see there's a reaper on the server and you're wanting to stack the odds in your favor, my recommendation would be to leave and find a new server. As a bloodthirsty scurvy dog like myself, this hurts me to recommend it. But I understand as a solo sloop who may not want to PVP as much as I do, you want every advantage you can get. So finding a less active server is going to be your safest bet. Once you find a less active server, the next thing you wanna do is make sure you are optimizing your emissary grind with the most efficient methods. I have put together a farming guide where I cover how to do this very thing for each of the trading companies. So make sure to check that out. Now that you have found the best server and understand the best ways to farm your emissary, the next thing you wanna do is become the best solo slooper you can be. Now I already have a full guide on this that covers the top five best tips for you as a solo slooper. I cover mastering your ship, mastering your weapons, best foods and health regen, and even an inspirational message on keeping your wits as a pirate. So stop what you're doing and go watch that video. Another thing worth mentioning is a well-supplied ship is very difficult to sink, so make sure to load your ship up with supplies. A good way to do this quickly is to check all the barrels at an outpost, find a robot on an island, find a storage crate, or stop at a fort for supplies. The best thing to do though, in my humble opinion, as a solo slooper, is to try to find a rowboat or a storage crate. You can use the crate to quickly load up supplies and a rowboat comes in handy big time just in case you need to make a sneaky getaway. Now that you are ready to set sail, here are some things to help you survive out there with that big, beautiful emissary target on your back. Always, and I mean always, keep your eyes and your spyglass on the horizon. Pirates these days are getting craftier by the minute, which means you should become extremely paranoid. Keep an eye out for mermaids, check your ship often for stowaways. Honestly, every time you get on your ship, I recommend checking the following tuck spots. By the cannons, in the crow's nest, by the ropes for the sails, by the voyage table, by the water barrel, and by the map table. Like I mentioned earlier, pirates are getting craftier and will go to great lengths to board your ship and sneaky sneak. As a solo slooper, you will want to sell as often as you can. It is not recommended to hoard treasure on your ship. Now again, I'm giving you advice opposite of what I really want you to do, and that is stack that beautiful treasure to the stars. 
Speaking of stars, have you ever looked up and wondered? Hey. Aliens, are they real? I mean, think about it. Think about it. Are they real? We'll never know. Anyway, some more good advice for you is to always be ready for a fight. This means you have the best food on you at all times. Your weapons are locked and loaded. You have cursed cannonballs, blunder bombs, fire bombs. I mean, you are ready to fight anyone at any given moment. As a solo super, you only have yourself to rely on. So make sure to give yourself the best odds by having the best stuff on you at all times. Always ask what if. What if a skelly ship spawns on me? What if Karen spawns on me? And Lord help us all if Karen spawns on us. Constantly be thinking and planning ahead. Sail around big islands to make sure there's no one else there before you stop. And for the love of the whale lord, do not put kegs in the crow's nest no matter how freaking pretty they look. They are a death sentence as a solo slooper. You don't need kegs on your ship, period. If you find yourself in a situation where you are being chased and you want to turn in your flag, make sure your parking is on point at the outpost. This means using your anchor. If you only raise your sails to park and your ship drifts too far, you will be unable to vote down your flag, giving that enemy plenty of time to start filling your poor sloop with cannonballs. Once you've lowered your flag, you now have nothing to lose, which makes you dangerous. So lower that flag, get those rewards, and go out guns a-blazing. You may lose the fight, your flag, and even your loot, but you will gain experience. And that, my pirate friend, is priceless. With all of this being said, I've put together a lot of guide videos diving further into PvP tips and tricks, ship combat, blunder bombs, chain shots, even a freaking video with charts showing you all the things you need to know about food regen, weapon damage, and reload times. The only change would be to remember that the sword now does 25% damage per swing and 60% damage for a lunge. Now a little bit of a final word here from the cursed captain. The two most important things to remember as a solo slooper is number one, you only have yourself to rely on. So do not put yourself in a position where other crews will have an advantage because you were unprepared. And number two, shoot first and ask questions later. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope to see you scurvy dogs out on the seas.